Tornado sirens in Joplin, Missouri last night sent people running for cover, but cover is hard to come by since Sunday when a monster tornado flattened entire blocks of the city of 50,000. No new tornado came through last night, but the death toll from the weekend twister climbed to 125 today. Don Teague in Joplin has the latest. For residents of Joplin, the shock is finally wearing off and the work of moving on is underway. An army of utility crews is working to restore electricity, the water system, and remove a mountain of debris. But what about St. John's Medical Center? Today we saw the first pictures from inside the ruined facility. It truly was like a bomb went off inside almost on every floor. The photos show the grim reality, waiting areas, patient rooms, the main reception area demolished. We're not certain of the structure, if the structure is going to be able to support another facility here or if we'll need to rebuild. All across Joplin, search crews continue to scour ruined buildings for possible victims or survivors. There's always hope that you can find somebody alive, so that's all you can do is hope and pray. I love you. Cell phones are finally working here and may dramatically lower the number of missing, which for now is in the hundreds. At what's left of Margaret Rowe's house, members of her family searched for valuables while she recovers in a hospital burn unit 70 miles away. We're just trying to find what belongs to her and see if any count save it for you. Jack Rowe says his sister will survive and so will the city. For proof, look no further than St. Mary's Church. The building is gone, but the church members are ministering to the community with money. Could you use $100? Oh, man, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, who do I make it out to? Uh, Doug Keeney. Spell your last name. K-E-E. N. N. Okay. This community takes great pride in faith and family as Doug Keeney, an unemployed construction worker who lost everything, can attest. That's from a church right down here. And there ain't, they don't have a church left, but yet they're out handing out money. Well, that man, Doug Keeney, says his family initially reported him missing, and it took him more than 24 hours to let them know he was actually alive. Officials here hope that those sorts of communication problems are actually to blame for most of those hundreds of cases of people still reported missing. Harry? Don Teague and Joplin tonight. Thank you.